<clears throat> we will get started here in just a few minutes. Give, give a little bit of time for a few more people to join in. Send out some Send out some tweets here for those that follow on Twitter. And we'll get started in a minute. Hey, good evening, Joseph. Glad you could stop by. Looks like we got a few other people in here. According to my clock, it's about three minutes after 10. So we'll go ahead and get started. And we may have a few more people jumping here as we go. Let me get my stuff ready here. my checklist, so to speak, so I know who had what. Hopefully everybody can uh, can stick around for the end. Um, once we uh, at the completion of the break, um, I will go ahead and show off uh, next week's uh, box. Uh, it's only going to be one next week. It's going to probably be one from now until the end of the year. I've got I've got three boxes left. Uh, one of which we've already opened uh, back in the summertime. Um, but, uh, I've got three boxes left, so I'm probably going to do one box or excuse me. I have four boxes left, so I'm going to do one box a week, um, probably through the end of the year, unless something really in some, unless something falls in my lap, a really good deal on something else. Um, I'm probably just going to run with what I've got through the end of the year. Um, cause with the holidays coming, I know money's going to be tight. Everybody's going to have a lot of a lot of stuff on their plates. Um, so looking ahead at the schedule, we'll probably do the first two weeks of November. And then I'll probably do like the second and third week of December or something along those lines. Be a little, there'll be a little bit of an interruption, but um, that should carry us through the end of the year. That will also give me time to go ahead and, and find some good stuff and get restocked because uh, it's uh, it's tough figuring out what uh, what you guys are interested in what you know what what will work. Um, this tops attacks box wasn't as popular as I thought it would be, but hey, that's okay. The the pinnacle mint. Um, I, I was I I, I botched up. <laughs> you know, trying to set this one up, um, because the checklist is so darn small, 
but we got it worked out. And uh, I think a lot of you are really excited about this one. So, you know, sometimes I can, I, I, I hit a home run and uh, other times it's just a foul ball, but anyhow, that's kind of what we're looking at to, for the rest of the year. Um, we've got four boxes left, one box a week. So we've got four weeks in between now and the next, uh, you know, the last eight weeks of the year. So it'll be divided up a little bit. But uh, like I said, um, I'm still looking. And if something falls in my lap, then uh, we will, uh, you know, then I'll work that into our schedule. But anyhow, guys, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> well, thanks, Johnny. You're you're right. Um <laughs> you do get to hit a couple foul balls before you strike out. So we're going to go ahead and do the, the attacks first, and then we'll jump into the mint last. You know, Walmart exclusive tops gallery, but um, I know some of you guys are in Ben Martin's group as well. And I know he bought two boxes to feature and, um, I don't know. What do y'all feel about the new gallery? I, I didn't mind old tops gallery, but since they brought it back, I just haven't been a huge fan of it. I mean, I'll pick up, I'll pick up my Braves, you know, but as far as the, as far as the cards themselves, I don't know. Tell you what, one thing I'm looking at right now. <laughs> um, one the one one older box that I'm looking at now, and I and again, I the price would have to be right because it's it's not it's not El Cheapo, but um, I was looking at a box of 2000 Tops HD. Um, it was a uh, product, a super premium product by Tops. They just did it two years. They did 2000 and 2001. And a lot of the 2001 cards are mistaken for 2000. Um, but uh, it's, I think it's a beautiful set. Um, I just completed the base set. I'm working on the inserts of the 2000. Um, and um, I might be able to get a box of 2000 Tops HD for a decent price. Um, you know, you, you know, you know, you guys, uh, um, that have broken with me before, I always try to keep these prices, you know, single digits. Um, so if I could work the logistics of it out, I would try that if, if there's enough people interested. All right. So we have 36 packs of the uh, tax six cards per pack. There's a foil card in every pack and a code card in every pack. There are a slew of um, parallels that I, that I don't even think I will wear of. The only attacks cards that I have are uh, those inserts that were in the base tops um, from around this time. But, uh, But I don't. Uh, I've never opened any of the packs themselves. It's interesting. It's got the instructions on how to play the game here on the back of the pack. Gold fill cards are one and five. So we'll see what we get. I figured this would just be something for team collectors. Some you know, kind of an oddball product that uh, I would gander. Not a lot of people had, but. Um, I do like how the fact that the card is a matte finish, but then the numbers, the player and the logo and the last name are done in a, in a, like a glossy finish. And I don't know, I can't really, I don't know if I can really show that off on the camera, but uh, you know, for, for just a collectible trading card, it's, you know, game, it's pretty cool. So, First up, pull holes. Foil card, Yanel Escobar. 
These foils are nice looking. Look at the rainbow sheen. Oh, I'm sorry. We had, we had a hitchhiker on the back of Albert John Figgins, the Mariners. Got Mariano Rivera. Code card is CC Sabathia. And Chase Utley. Hey, my, with my luck, Ben, we might get it. We might pull you a, uh, a a pudge tonight. Adam Jones for the Orioles. Kind of sticking here. Justin Upton, Diamondbacks. Sinsu Chu, Foil, Indians. Roy Oswalt. Ichiro Code Card. Tori Hunter for the Angels. I may throw a pack in everybody's stack just so you have the uh, instructions on how to play the game just for kicks. Carlos Quentin for the well, White Sox. Michael Young, Rays, or uh, Rays, uh, Rangers. Carlos Beltran for the Mets. Justin Mas Masterson, Indians. Berkman code card. Mike Loyal, Lowell for the Red Sox. Corey Hart, Brewers. There's Griffey. Curtis Granderson. I think this is the gold foil. It appears to be. It's got to be. The, the, these foil cards are sharp. I like those. Papelbon, another Red Sox, Ellsbury, Chris Coughlin. You have nothing else. These uh, these foils are are really nice. Dustin Pedroia. These first two cards want to stick together for some reason. Josh Willingham, Josh Hamilton, and what a fall from grace he had. Cole Hamels, Curtis Granderson, Michael Cudier. Carl Crawford for the Rays. Mark Te uh, Tehan, Billy Butler, Royals, Roy Halliday, Fielder, and Wynn. I like the design of, of 2011 um, attacks, Johnny. I like that a lot better than than this design. This is a very mental. Um, uh, very minimal design, minimalistic design, but uh, I like what they did in 2011. Jermaine Dye. Oh, we got a gold pull holes. Kerry got his Cardinals in this one. Nice. Brett Anderson, Joe Maurer, and Denard Spain, two twins to finish out the pack.
Longoria. Aaron Rowan for the Giants. And then we got us a foil Clayton Kershaw. Joe Nathan. Justin Verlander code card. And Garrett Jones for the Bucks. Derek Lee for the Cubs. Uh, Tulowitzki for the Rockies. There you go, Johnny. Adam Lind, Foil. Heath Bell. Zach Grinke as our code card. And Travis Hafner. Miguel Montero, Alberto Calispo, Calis here's another gold foil, Jacoby Ellsbury for the Red Sox, David Price, Tim Lincecum, and Yanel Escobar. For the Reds, we have Joey Votto. Miguel Tejada. Jared Weaver is our foil. Eric Bedard. Dan Heron. And Ramon Hernandez. Oh, I it, you're you're so right, Johnny. It's it's crazy how how fast time flies. But it, you know, it, it it seems like yesterday in a lot of ways that I remember so many of these guys playing. I mean, Yanel Escobar. I was trying to think of his name the other day um, for the Braves. This guy. We, it was during the playoffs and I was just, I was talking to my, telling my wife how Bobby Cox would, he would have darn had a migraine. He would have had an aneurysm um, with some of the dumb plays the Braves made in the playoffs this year. And I could just see him just coming out of the dugout, yelling, barking. Um, and, and I remember there was a play several years ago, you know, did not run out the the, the uh, play at, at first base. Just kind of was jogging down the the line, and and sure enough, as he you know walked back to the dugout, Bobby Cox was waiting for him. Basically, grabbed him by the ear and yanked him out of the game. You know, pulled him down into the dugout, gave him you know gave him a, an earful, and uh, you know it's crazy because I remember that like it was yesterday, and it was you know. Who knows? Could have been 10 years ago, eight years ago, but it's crazy how connected we get and, and then the memories that cards bring us. Ian Stewart for the Rockies. Bobby Abreu. Hey, we got a Miggy. We got a foil Miggy. Mr. Morris. Matt Garza, there's the pool holes uh, code, and Mike Fontenant for the Cubbies. I'll be surprised if a if another manager gets thrown out as many of, of tossed out of as many games as Bobby Cox. Managers now just seem to be so much more to get fired up. Lou Pinnell is another one that came, comes to mind of a, that was very animated, very vocal. David Bell's on his way. 
to getting tall. Who who does he manage? I, I know the I know the I know the name, but I I, I don't. Some of these managers move around so much. The Reds. Okay. Melvin Mora, Prince Fielder. There's a Pedroja. But I never can say his name. Pedroya. We got Lincecum, Gonzalez, and yeah, another Braid, Kelly Johnson. Names in here I don't recognize. Everest Cabrera. Benji Molina. I've got another gold. Ryan Braun. Brewers. Johan Santana. Matt Kemp. And Yachty. Kelly Johnson got traded. He got traded a lot, but kept coming back to the Braves. <laughs> kind of, like, I have a feeling uh, um, Charlie Culberson is going to be the next Kelly Johnson in that matter. I saw that today that he elected to become a free agent, but I would not be surprised if he resigns the Braves in some capacity. Ben Zobris for the Rays, Victor Martinez. Mm, there's a nice Mariano. Yeah, AJ, lost collector. Got the Yankees in this one. I'm sure I'll be happy with some of these. Jonathan Broxton, John Lester, and Ian Kinsler. Culver's, he was in the Colorado organization. I did not know that. Felipe Lopez. Another Ellsbury. Josh Beckett. Foil. Ubaldo Jimenez for the Rockies. There's a Jeter code card. And Kevin Euclidus. Hmm. Yeah, I knew I knew Culberson started with the Giants, and I know he was with LA for a while. But uh, I've got a cool bobblehead of um, Dansby Swanson and Charlie Culberson. It's a half and half. It's called uh, Swan Swanberson because they look very much alike. Adam Kennedy for the A's. B.J. Upton. Jimmy Rollins, Foil, Zambrano, Kung Fu Panda, and Azubaro Cabrera. All right, we are halfway through the box. And with this pack, and nice, start off with the McCutcheon. David DeJesus, Carl Crawford Foil, Javier Vasquez, David Wright Code Card, and Maglio Ordonez. Yeah, keep in, uh, keep in mind, uh, like I said, um, at the end of the break, I will debut the next box, and we'll, we'll go ahead and put up signups tonight. So anybody watching, stick around, and uh, you'll have first dibs um, at uh, seeing that post. Oh, nice. Matty Diaz. Got a little PC of him outside of the Braves. Jorge Cantu. Aaron Hill foil, Kershaw, Longoria code card, and Kurt Suzuki. S 
Senshu Chu. Manny has a Dodger. Oh, pine tar on his helmet. Jose Lopez for the Mariners. Josh Johnson. A Rod. Code card. And Skip Shoemaker for the Redbirds. One second. All right. We got Ibanez for the Phillies. Colby Rasmus. There's a nice foil McCutcheon. Johnny Cueto. There's a code card for Manny and Giovanni Soto. I just saw this evening that um, Adam Wainwright is a uh, free agent. And um, he alluded in, he did the commentary, what, in the NLDS. Um, and he alluded that he was talking about or thinking about retirement, but he had not made up his mind. And I saw an article tonight that the Braves might be, uh, or the Braves are interested in maybe bringing him back, probably on a one-year contract, which I think would be cool to see the Georgia kid go home, play play one, you know, play one season with the team that drafted him. Um, I think that would be uh, pretty pretty cool. Twenty ten is McCutcheon's rookie. Someone can look that up if you uh, got a second. Brian Roberts, Ugla, Jason Worth, Foyle, Lester, Grady Sizemore, and Luis Castillo. Uh, no, Wainwright never played for the Braves. He was drafted for the Braves, but he was involved in the J.D. Drew trade with the Cardinals and played his whole 15-year career with the uh, with St. Louis. Sizemore. Jason Bay. Oh, there's a gold Manny. Pettit. Chris Carpenter code. And Brad Halt for the Rockies. Hey, Chris. No worries. We're just making our way to the attacks box. Just talking baseball and memories. Rollins. Vladimir Guerrero's. Excuse me. Senior. And Dan Ugla. One of those guys that destroyed Braves pitching and then they made him a Brave and he sucked. Scott Feldman, Ichiro Code, Johnny Peralta for the Indians. Ramos Ramirez for the Cubs. Nick Markakis. Johnny Damon. Brad Lidge. Berkman Code. Adrian Gonzalez. Like those camo unis.
Travis Snyder, Brandon Phillips, the Reds, Roy Halliday, Verlander, King Felix, Code, and Damon. Jorge Posada. Jose Lopez. Gordon Beckham foil. Jake Peavy. Teixeira. Code. And Alfonso Soriano. Kendry Morales, Ryan Thoreau, Justin Morneau, Foil, Tommy Hansen, Hanley Ramirez, Kung Fu. Ryan Howard, Elvis Andrew, oh, I got another gold foil. Adrian Gonzalez, Andrew Bailey, Votto Code, Cody Ross. Yeah, Tommy Hansen. Mm. Rest in peace. Uh, Guzmanoff, Nolan Remold, Carlos Lee Foil, Bobby Jinks, Ryan Howard Code, Andre Ethier. David Wright, Chris Young, Brian Roberts, Houston Street, Ryan Braun, Code, Carlos Beltran. Just a handful of packs left. Beckham, Berkman. Matt Kane foil, Carpenter. Hey, there's a Tulowitzki code card for you there, uh, Johnny. And Ichiro. Jose Reyes. Navarro for the Rays. Javier Vasquez, the Yanks, Jared Weaver, Grinky Foil, or uh, Code, Nelson Cruz. Aaron Hill. Ah, good. Brian McCann. And we've got a gold foil, John Lester. Rick Porcello, Lincecum Code, Howie Kendrick. I know Tulowitzki got hurt, but uh, I never really, never really knew much more about what happened after that. Did he sign with somebody else? I can't remember. Orlando Hudson, Paul Canerco, Mark Reynolds Foil, Francisco Rodriguez, Dan Heron, Carlos Lee. Final pack. Um, yes and no, Chris. These I, I, I was I said early um, tonight that I had never opened these packs before. 
but I was familiar with these cards um, as they were an insert in 2010. I think it was 2010 tops. The Hornets, I was kind of sour against um, Alonzo Mourning because the Hornets gave Larry Johnson a big deal back in the day, and then they really didn't have the money to give Zoe when, when they needed to pay him. And uh, But then they both were kind of little whiny buttholes. I've kind of gotten over it now, and I don't mind when Panini throws some of those older players in sets. But, uh, yeah, I can understand why that would leave a bad taste. All right, let's, do, let's go back to these foils real quick because th these cards are sharp. I don't like these. They. Reynolds. Gold Lester. Vasquez. Kane. Roberts. Lee. It's a gold. Gonzalez. Mornu. Beckham. Halliday. Damon, Ugla, it's a gold Manny, Jason Worth, McCutcheon, Lopez, Hill, Crawford, Rollins, Beckett, Rivera, it's a gold Ryan Braun, Droya, Cabrera, Weaver, Gold Ellsbury, Leaned, Kershaw, it's a Gold Pujols, Butler, Hamilton, Granderson, Beltron, Chu, and Escobar. All right. So hopefully. Your team, if you were in that break, you got some some cards of some guys you needed. All right. And I think what we all have been waiting for. This is a heavy box too, guys. It's a try it's like a uh it, this unfortunately it does have a little bit of a crease here. But uh, I think we should be fine. But yeah, I'm hoping. I, I did not realize until I started to research this that the w one of the parallels for the for the base cards without the hole for the coin, the gold version um, features the dufex process. I did not realize that. And uh, speaking of the Dufex, the museum collection, I'm still chasing the 1995 Pinnacle set, the museum collection set. Should have some new cards coming shortly. So, we got. We've got a sticker here on the inside of the box flap, and it's got a, a coin. I don't know if they're all like this or not, but it has a little comes in a little plastic um, little plastic and container just just on the top. I'll take that off. It's all sticky. And uh, Ryan Klesko was kind of like the poster boy for this set. And uh, so there's there's the back. It's got the Pinnacle Mint logo. I mean, I'm not a coin collector, but... They are. It is kind of cool. Now, the the majority of the coins are bronze. And then you've got 
the silver are very rare. The, the solid 24 karat gold were only done through redemption, which makes sense. But you've got the nickel silver coins, solid silver coins, and the bronze coins, and then uh, the parallels of the base cards. There's silver and gold of those as well. Empty box. There's 16 packs in total. Uh, three cards and two coins in each pack. And you can you can see just how thick these are. And like I said, they've got some weight to them. Be strong. Don't use drugs. Good luck, everybody. Oh, cool. Okay. I, I wasn't sure how the, the coins were packaged either, but they got them in these little uh, plastic trays. So we got uh, Caminiti and Tim Salmon. So we'll see how these shake out. I might be able to ship your coins um, in, these, in these things, uh, or I may just have to use team bags. All righty, and our cards. The card stock on these are thicker than the normal card stock too. So here's the parallel. This is the bronze parallel. They where they took the hole where the coin would go and they filled it in with the with the team logo. So there's the gold versions of these are the ones that feature the Dufex. So I'll be interested to see, see those if we happen to get one. And then your base cards have a big old hole. But of course, it is designed for you to get the coin of the same player, of course. And this is mine, so I'll... I'll I'll put it in there for you so you can see, have an idea. You do kind of have to work it in there a little bit. So if you're going to marry the two together, just be wary that you that it may bend the card just a smidge. But once you get it in there, obviously this is this that's Klesko's coin, but just gives you an idea. So you sleeve that up. Pretty cool. And the last card was Jay Buner. Got a checklist. So that gives you an idea of what we're looking at in each pack. So, so Chris wants me to pull Larkins. Ben wants me to pull a gold pudge. All right, we've got Juan Gonzalez, and this one is backwards. Jeff Bagwell. The cards are sticking a little bit, so I will do my best to 
part. Can't really flex these packs with the coins. The parallel is Gonzalez. And unfortunately, we've got a little bit of snowflaking here. But like I said, I can't really I can't really flex them with these with these little packs of coins in there. So we got Batwell and Sheffield. I don't know. Eh, yeah, maybe I can rock it a little bit. We've got coins of a rod for the Mariners and Andrew Jones for the Braves. All right, I'm just changing my list around here. All right, Chris, it's not a red. It's not it's not a Larkin. But got gotcha. you a bronze parallel of Gwen. And then we've got Bell and Bachette. Who doesn't have a small Tony Gwynn <laughs> collection? Anybody I think who watched him play would want to hold on to his stuff. Got an Albert Bell for the White Sox and Barry Bonds. And we finally got a different Parallel this time, we've got a silver Manny Ramirez. Who got the Indians? Ah, oh, Johnny did. Yeah, we've got to move on. And a Sammy Sosa. I don't know. Looking at these cards with the uh, holes in them, I don't know, it makes me want to go queue up Extremes Wholehearted song. I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head now. Uh oh, we got a we got a nickel silver. It looks like so we got a chipper. And the light is just bouncing off this silver one, even more so than the other ones. So let's see who it is. Barry Bonds. I don't know how you tell the difference between the 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 nickel what is it the the nickel silver and the solid silver the solid silvers are one in 2300 packs whereas the si silver um, or the uh, nickel silver are one in 20 so we beat the odds either way but I don't know if there's any kind of indication to tell them apart. So it says solid silver on the back. So if it's the solid, okay. So I figured this would probably be the nickel, but hey, there you go. Ben Martin got the Giants. He's not, I don't think he's watching tonight. 
I know his wife had surgery today, so he's got more pressing matters on his hands, but nice. I'll, I'll let somebody else ping him. So we got Henry Rodriguez. We got us a Frank Thomas, and he's sticking to a chipper. So there's old Big Hurt and a bronze chipper. Ryan Klesko and Manny Ramirez. Got a Caminiti, bronze parallel. Got a Henry Rodriguez and a Pudge. We got the the Holy Pudge. Check the back of the Manny. Which which Manny the silver or the coin or what the coin? It's got the same back as all the other ones. Just has limited edition. Pinnacle Mat, the logo, Let's go and Jeter. Oh, sorry, I forgot to forgot to hit the focus button on my camera. So it looks like we got a salmon bronze. Let me turn this light. I don't like that glare. Yeah. I got a Holy Klesko for my coins. Animatics. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out the lighting because my overhead light is not quite good enough. So we 
got uh, Tim Salmon and Tony Gwynn. So far, I haven't checked the back of every single coin, but so far, they all appear to be the same. And a bronze Manny. And the A's are finally on the board with the Holy Maguire. And a Manny Ramirez. Big Mac indeed. Now see if we can find the coin for you. Next pack, we've got Anomo and Pudge. Check the back, Nomo looks the same. Pudge, same. And we just talked about Big Mac and now we got a, a Big Mac bronze parallel a holy salmon and a holy chipper for that young so serious look on chipper's face We've got, there we go, Big Mac. So three packs in a row, we pulled Big Mac. And a Dante Bichette coin. I think you like, I think you guys will like these coins when you get them in hand. And we got us a uh, bronze piazza and a holy Sosa and Big Hurt. Brian Jordan, coin, and a rod. A bronze parallel for Maddox. So holy. Tony and a Holy Juan. Holy Juan. Yeah, and unfortunately with this, with these black backgrounds and the age, there is a little bit of snowflaking on probably every card, which is, you know, that's the risk of 90s cards, especially mid, mid 90s mid to late 90s i've oh, got another big mac coin and another bichette coin so now we're starting to get some dupes of some coins there's a klesko foil got us a bonds
and a rod. Four packs to go. Ryan Klesko and Jeter. Oh, nice. Got that Griffey. Bronze. And this one's not too bad. A little bit up here in this black corner. All righty, Chris. There's your berry. There's your holy berry. But you got an Andrew Jones sticking to the back of them. Use the checklist to separate them. So there's your berry on the back. Now let's see if we can get Chris a coin to go with his card. We got a Tony Gwynn on this side and Chuck Knobloch for the Twins. It's the first we've seen of that one. And our parallel is Jeter. And we've got a Buner and Bagwell. Two packs. I don't know what the significance is, if there's any with the coins being flipped upside down in these little holders, but both of these are upside down. So we got a Pudge for the Rangers and no more. Yeah, like these two cards, the, the, or the coins, the, the, the Pudge is Seems to be shinier than the Nomo. I don't know why. All right. And for the or Orioles, got a nice Rook and Bronze Parallel. And Sheffield and Albert. All right, last pack. Come on. Last pack from a, a Larkin coin. Or a Griffey coin. Sure you wouldn't mind that, Chris. Ah, two dupes. Brian Jordan and a rod. Yeah. And let's see what cards we got here. 
Knobloch, Bronze Parallel, and we got another Holy Bichette, and a Holy Move On. So here's our here's our stack of holy cards. <laughs> That's so weird looking. All right. Let's run through these parallels real quick. A Knoblock, Ripken, Jeter, Griffey. Lesko, Maddox, Piazza, Big Mac, Manny, Salmon, Caminiti, Chipper, the Silver, Ramirez, Gwen, Gonzalez, and Bonds. So that was fun. That was fun. I hated that the cards are sticking them together a little bit, but you know, like I said, that's that's the risk, the risk we run with some of these older products. And I will sort out these coins and for especially for you guys, some of you guys that have the two team slots. I'll try to marry up your coins and ship them in these uh, in these little containers. And this is that this is that um, Klesko that I'm pretty sure was supposed to be that sticker was had was over here. I'm pretty sure this coin was supposed to be sticking through the box, kind of like that. So, uh, I'll have to find a, another Braves fan because I don't think I'll need the coin. All right. So, yeah, fun rip regardless. Um, like I said, hopefully you got something out of that you, you're, you're liking. So, with baseball wrapping up for the season, unfortunately, I know – I'm already missing baseball. I'm sure you guys are. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move to the NFL, um, at least for this week. This is my last football box that I have. I got it a um, few weeks ago. And it is 2008 Tops Rookie Progression. Um. Excuse me. There's 20 packs, five cards per pack. Every pack should have a rookie. And it had some of the early um, draft class from 2008. Um, so most of them are in their college unis. But there's some pretty good. Um, so most of them are in their college unis. But there's some pretty good. There's some pretty decent rookies. Um I'm trying to go off the the post, the sign up post that I was preparing tonight earlier tonight. Matt Ryan, I think Jordy Nelson. Um, let me pull my post up real quick. Joe Flacco, Deshaun Jackson, Matt Forte, Jamal Charles. So there's some decent names um, in this box. And uh, uh, what I forgot about, because like I said, I've had this one for I've had this one for a little while now. What I what I forgot about is the box should yield two autos, two relics. 
um, as, and then 10 parallels on average. That's what top said. Uh, yes, this is Darren McFadden on the, uh, on the cover. Um, so, so yeah, it, uh, it, it should, it should offer a little bit of variety. It was a hobby exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I know I like some of the, uh, like NC state alums that I collect. I, I kind of like having them in their, in their, uh, college unis. Cause there's so much, you know, everything else later just has them, you know, in their NFL. So, um, I know, uh, there's no NC state alum in this particular set, but, um, but yeah, I, I was looking at some of the images and unfortunately there's not a lot of images in the blog post sign up post that I always try to scan in some uh, examples of the, of the inserts and, and possible hits and stuff. And then I have a whole lot to choose from for some of the sets because there's just not many scanned. So I don't know if that means they haven't been pulled or people just haven't submitted scans to trading card database. But any, anyhow, this is what we're going to do next week. Just the one box. Um, and then, like I said, at the home set, um, after, after this one, I'll have three additional boxes, all baseball. Um, and that will probably finish out the year for me. Um, unless, like I said, if I can get that uh, Topps HD box um, for... Um, for what I'm hoping for, then um, I should be able to to price everything where we at least break even. That's a, it's at least my goal. Um, uh, so if we may be able, I might be able to mix in another box. We'll just have to wait and see. But I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, signups for this. Give me uh, about five or ten minutes after we end the video, and I'll go ahead and get this posted. So if you're interested, um, you know, if you're watching, you'll have first dibs. Um, but, uh, and then I'll kind of promote the post a little bit more tomorrow at some point. I do have some little Halloween packets of little packages. I need to get together with some, some baseball cards cause I'm giving away baseball cards and hot wheels at my house in addition to candy tomorrow night. But, uh, I'll, I'll, um, I'll get everything up. If you got any questions, y'all know how to find me by now. And uh, thank you for your participation, and I will catch you in the next video. Y'all have a great weekend. Have a safe and happy Halloween, no matter what you end up doing. Uh, just be safe. Talk to you later, guys.